Hello, my name is Jörg and welcome to CoachRed.net. In the last video, we signed in a user. In this one, we will lock in the user. Here we are back at the AppGyver Composer. But before we start, let's head over to the REST API guide to check out what we actually need. So it's a GET request, the three headers we all know from the login and the since it is a get request it doesn't have a request body so the parameters username and password are encoded in the url all right that's it back to appgyver and get started I am a bit lazy here and don't want to configure the entire HTTP request. So I head over to the sign in button, select the HTTP request, copy it. And now to the login and insert it over here. All right, that's good. The old flow I don't want and I connect it to the HTTP request. Now starting the configuration of the HTTP request with the URL. The resource URL is the same, but the relative path is a different one. So I check out the documentation and it's login. I copy it and replace users with login. Perfect. That's it. Next is the HTTP method. It's a get method, not a post. The headers are the same. I don't need to change anything there, but the request body I need to erase. With the get method, I cannot send any parameters in the request body. They are encoded in the URL itself. Let's check out the documentation. There it says URL encode and we have the username and the password. So we are heading back over to the URL to add the parameters in there. Parameters in the URL start with the question mark. So here it is a question mark and then username. Also the syntax in a URL is the equal sign instead of the colon. Okay, the value is my page variable username. The second parameter starts with an ampersand. So it is ampersand password and then the equal sign. And the value of the password is the page variable password. Great. After the HTTP request, I want to do the same three things like what we did at the sign up. So first is set the app variable session token. The value, the assigned value is a formula again. And the formula starts with the output from another node. And here it is the HTTP request and specifically there the parsed body and then dot session token basically i'm fishing out the value of the key session token from the url let me just check the exact spelling in the documentation yes it is session token with a capital t Next is the dismissal of the initial view. I drag in the flow function and connect it. The third action is that I want to get an alert and the contents of the alert is the output of the HTTP request and here specifically the parse body which contains the JSON. All right, that's it. 
I save it and then test it in the preview app. There's my login screen. The user is username Q and password Q. So I log in and there it is. That is the structure just like in the documentation and I was able to capture the session token. Great, thank you so much for watching. And in the next video, we will lock out a user. So see you there.